Now to a warning about certain kinds of sunblock, specifically the spray-on kind. New research shows the chemicals in the spray may be dangerous. News Channel 3 reporter Cedare de los Santos joins us live in Cedare. This information should be out there for all the parents to know about. Yeah, that's right, Beth. Now, while the spray-on sunscreen might be the easiest way to put sunblock on your little ones, it's the fumes inside the can that is causing concern. The sun during these summer days seemed to be the number one enemy when it comes to protecting your kids. But using this could actually be doing more harm than good. I don't personally like to use it. It seems like it doesn't really get where it needs to. And then I'm always concerned about myself inhaling it and my son. It doesn't seem like the studies are done yet on long-term effects of breathing it in. Consumer Reports is encouraging parents to stay away from using spray sunscreen on their children under the age of eight. They're more of a risk for spraying, being sprayed in the eyes, you know, breathing in the spray. So we don't really recommend the sprays for really young children. We do recommend them for school-age children that are in and out of swimming pools because they seem to give good waterproof coverage. The FDA is currently investigating the potential risk of breathing in the chemicals that come out of the can. Yeah, we don't spray this on their face, though. And the spray ones still use all the chemical sunscreens that enter the body. And for the little kids, too, it's usually better to use a physical barrier sunscreen. If you do happen to spray on the protection, it's recommended to not use it in an ink closed area. A lot of times people will apply the aerosolized sunscreens in their cars. That would be another place I wouldn't recommend. Wait till you get outside because you don't want to be breathing in um, that aerosolized sunscreen. And we really don't know what the long-term effects are, but it's just not worth taking the risk. If you have an infant under the age of six months, there's no sunblock that is FDA approved. If a baby is under six months of age, they really need to be kept out of the sun. They need to be put in shade, put in hats, under umbrellas. Chemical-free sunblocks are not felt to be safe for, for infants. Now, while shopping for sunblock for your children, the ingredients to look out for is zinc and titanium. Live in Santa Barbara, Senator De Los Santos, News Channel 3.